This was a new old stock rare vintage Casio TV remote control calculator watch. I don't know when these came out sometime after the uh, millennium, sometime after the year 2000. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Welcome fellow pickers, would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Crazy Picker Life on Sunday. Well, it's, uh, it's a Packer Sunday. Hi, bud. Hi. You having fun in our Packer party? Yeah. Cookies. There's chocolate all over your mouth. What's that from? My bar. Oh, snacky bar. Cool. So we're down here for a Packer party, pre-cookout party. Dealer's going to be cooking hamburgers, cheeseburgers, some other stuff for uh, tonight. I guess uh, Lon picked up some sort of crazy whipped cream pie looking thing so everybody's all excited the last day and a half for this super pie i guess so we're going to finish up the packers game packers are down in atlanta very competitive and then uh head home and and do a family cookout thing for a while and then just relax into the evening very low low slow day so we'll peek in on the Packer party here. It's all dark in there. You're not going to see much. <laughs> Lana is hardcore. She's got to have the lights off. Got to be focused in. Boy, don't ask her anything more than one sentence or you're going to get, I'm watching Packers. <laughs> so we'll do that and then I'm going to blip out. Oh my goodness, what's this? <laughs> what is that around you? Oh, the photographer. <laughs> Gonna go in there and scope it out for 30 <laughs> seconds. You've already seen as much as you need to see. Oh, how'd I do? Good. Okay. And then we're gonna do the uh, October uh, sales top 10. So this is going to be the top 10 sales we had in all our stores. I forgot to check Amazon. I think I did sell a printer on there for 300 bucks I didn't include in there. Could have put that in there and of course sold a lot of test strips on Amazon had like uh, 13 or 1400 dollars sales in the last 14 days on there getting a check Monday and by check I mean online check anyway this will be the top 10 sales of all channels we had in October yeah don't drag that on the floor there if you can see her Pack it girl she brought her own blanket she wouldn't go with our brewers walkie brewers blanket photographers at me gamers Packers are winning at this point Atlanta's uh, lost her last two games I guess <laughs> I got a, like a sort of an entourage following me at all times here okay so without further ado this is October's top 10 Okay, so here is item number one, top ten for October. It is a vintage 1983 Casio G-Shock wristwatch. As you can see, it has uh, rubber problems around the outside. This is one of the original G-Shock watches. And uh, I believe Wheeler picked it up at the flea market for a buck. And it is very collectible. It went overseas. The guy was thrilled with it. I believe we took an offer of 220 on that, plus shipping. So that's a pretty good return on investment. The original G-Shocks and many of the G-Shocks are collectible. There are some that are more collectible than this, I guess, Wheeler tells me. Number two is a Vintage Blatt's old Heidelberg beer sign. We do not serve minors. This uh, sold on sale for somewhere around $270. Uh, I purchased this with a lot of Schlitz signs and I really liked it. I didn't want to leave it behind. I believe I had the guy throw it in at the end 
for 100 or 150 and he did that to seal the deal along with a small well all beer cans are small along with a beer can a flat uh, a cone top beer can and so I wanted to keep moving the Blatt stuff out in fact I buy and sell the signs I keep some of them but everything is for sale and this one sold this is a Bush beer pool table lamp. I bought this in Nebraska for $125. However, I bundled some things in on that deal, so probably $110. It was a challenge to pack. I believe it got there safely. <laughs> it went to Missouri and uh, it was on sale, so it was like $360 plus shipping. This is a metal traffic light stoplight. It's a Econo light. Econo light is not necessarily the most common light, fairly high quality, red, yellow, and then it's not really green because there's a stronger light in there that's more than just the lens. So I'm not sure how that exactly works. I did not clean it up. I did not alter it. It was in untouched condition. It sold for, here it says 308. It may have been on sale again for 13% uh, off, so it might have been closer to say 270 plus shipping. I bought that, I believe, for 150 or 125 at the flea market. Test strips, one touch Vireo retail box 100 size nine of them i would pay 12 bucks each for these sold for 775 that's a good day on test strips more test strips came in in october fairly good test strip month freestyle light 100s are are good they go for a hundred dollars a box 500 for five of them uh oh <laughs> This was a new old stock rare vintage Casio TV remote control calculator watch. I don't know when these came out sometime after the uh, millennium, sometime after the year 2000. It may be even uh, more like 2008 or 9. I can't remember all the watches that Wheeler picks up. We did pick these up uh, recently at the flea market and I believe we paid 60 or 70 dollars. And this one sold $269.99, free shipping. This is a Weiner Blatz beer sign with the Koshokton symbol. Koshokton process does this special process on all metal. The frame is metal. The sign is metal. It's more like steel than tin. It's thicker. It's a crazy scene with reflections, etc., etc. I paid 300. I bought this one out in the raw as opposed to buy it online. It was 800 do uh, $300 is what I paid for it. It sold for 800 plus shipping. Uh, dated right around uh, 1905. This is our best camera lens sale of the month. We are in the holiday season as far as sales go. Camera sales for us are strong always, but not as strong this time of the year. Most of the big camera stuff will sell in January, February, March, April when people are getting ready for uh, the summer camera season, the outdoor camera season with natural light and also the holiday season's usually for buying gifts for others, and so a lot of the camera people are not able to buy things for themselves. That's a hunch, at least on the medium to high-end stuff. We still had a good camera month, just not high-end stuff for the most part. This is a Ricoh GR 16.2 megapixel camera, sold for $400 plus. This was purchased in a lot that I paid for uh, $360 for the whole lot. There's at least 30 or 40 other items that uh, will be 
finishing listing off if they're not all listed and uh, we'll be selling. So this paid for the lot. I believe that is item number 10. Overall, a very good month. I do not have the dollar figure in for the month, but I have a feeling the month was a little above average. Thanks for watching our top 10. That was the top 10 for October. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta wrap up the party and then I gotta get the food going here pretty soon. So I'm the uh, food coordinator for today. Mom doesn't want to eat here. Yeah, I know. We've got it figured out, buddy. Yep. <laughs> Late supper tonight. Okay, so that was the top 10. I appreciate you watching. Tomorrow we'll be back in the office. That's Monday to finish out October's contest. If we have a big sales item tomorrow, I guess I'll have to make an addendum to the top 10. Thanks for watching. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Production. <laughs>